So in between lands, it's like a rift in between the different like, you know, overworld and the nether. How you doing? So guys, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Uh, the important thing I had to tell Bessie, first off, was that Bessie, you're a scrub. Secondly, I got you this really cool shield. And thirdly, there's a fake Bessie under the shield back. I'm stuck in here now. Gosh dang it, Bessie. <sighs> I jump in here all the time, and I always get flippin' stuck. There you go. Stay in there, Bessie. Back to business. Oh, we're gonna kill this fake Bessie. Boom. Get out of here, stinking fake Bessies. All right, guys, but anyway, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, I am uh, pretty dang excited because Betsy had the amazing idea of revisiting one of my personal favorite Minecraft mods, and uh, we're going to be checking out what is actually under the void, and this mod pretty much delves into that. Now, guys, if you're going to be featured just like Betsy, all you have to do is, first off, slam the like button with your sword. Actually, crap, this is a shield. All right, never mind. Scratch that. Also, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell with your shield so that you never miss out on a brand new video. And last but not least, comment any mod you want to say down below in the comment section for your chance to be featured as the comment of the day. But guys, today's video is going to be a, a little bit uh, sort of kind of intense slash scary at the same time because I'm going to be showing you what it would look like if there was an actual whole dimension in between, you know, the overworld and then above the nether. So yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, the void is like the area basically under bedrock in the overworld and above bedrock in the nether. It's kind of like that weird space in between where there's really nothing to do and you kind of just get destroyed. Well, now there's actually a way through this mod to go into that dimension. Now you guys may have seen a video I made about like a month ago on this. It is called The Between Lands. Now I'll link that video down below where I show all the cool like bosses and mobs and all of the uh, amazing new weapons that you can get. But today uh, we're going to be heading in there with like basically nothing and seeing if we can survive or like if there's anything cool in there. We're going to explore a little bit and just see what it would be like if you know there was a dimension basically just in the void. Now it looks like Bess has got me some pretty cool stuff. We have a diamond sword. We obviously need the oak sapling in order to get there, which we'll see in just a second here. But we have ourselves an explorer hat because obviously now that we're heading into the void, we're flipping explorers. Okay, guys, don't tell Betsy this, but I'm kind of a scared explorer because I don't really know what's in there. The last time I was in there was, I think, like around a year ago. So I'm a little bit afraid. But basically, once you have this mod installed, first off, you have to kill a sheep. It's super essential. Not really. I'm just kind of kidding. But in all seriousness, you have to go find some sort of swamp biome where you'll basically find uh, this weird new monument where there'll be some pretty scary Minecraft wizard things that will try and destroy your day. You have to take them down and then basically steal their talisman things in order to create the portal. So I'm gonna head over here, wish me luck chickens, and we're just gonna venture off into nothingness and just see if we can find something. Maybe I could use a shield, there we go. Bam! This shield is just so funny. Oh my goodness, all right, it wasn't that far, but it looks like we found ourselves a giant hole into nothingness, but we also have, it looks like a monument right here. Now, the only weird thing is about this monument, uh, I've kind of just realized, oh crap, okay, well, there's that. And also, you can't break anything in here. Dude, chillax, bro. All right, I got a cowboy hat on. You probably shouldn't be messing with me. All right, but anyway, here is the thing in the middle. We have to kill these things. Okay, that's not, that's really just not fair, bro. So you have to take the, dude, what the flip? These guys are just throwing me around. All right, just calm down. We could be friends. They don't really give up the talismans too easily. Dude, stop throwing me. All right, but anyway, you need to find the four talisman pieces in order to get into the dimension. Bro, these things are like Jedi masters. All right, stop it. Actually, technically, there would be more Sith masters. But it looks like we got one. We got the first talisman piece. Does that... Okay, good. It stays in there so we can kind of keep track. Well, these things... Dude. Okay, stop. Just... Yep, you just stay. Stay calm. It's okay. I'm just going to steal your, your thing. It's okay, buddy. There we go. Do we get... Dude, seriously, we got the same flipping one. Oh my gosh, dude, they just keep throwing me around. All right, maybe if I charge it then with my shield, this is actually from the spot. Bam! Take that, nerds! All right, there we go. Does a decent amount of damage. It also deflects a little bit, but no, 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 no. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Okay, da, 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 land in the water. Oh, this is taking a lot of time here. Okay, stop throwing me. Seriously, guys, it's really not fair. All right, stop it, stop. There we go. Another talisman piece. 
All right, bro. Seriously, throw me again, and I'm gonna do absolutely nothing because I really can't. Yeah, please. Please, you stinking dub. All right, bam. Zap it. There we go. Take that. All right, we got no thousand piece. It kind of sort of looks like we have three of the same stinking ones. Maybe it'll work like that. I don't really know. I haven't really tried it like that. But let's wait, and let's see. Anyone else want to challenge me? What if I start breaking your stuff? Dang, take that, bro. Oh, crap. I forgot. I really can't break any blocks in here. Okay. All right, we got some more spawn there. What's up, dudes? How you doing? All right, it looks like we only need one more piece, but these dudes, I've literally, I think I've killed at least 20 of these thinking people, and they will not drop the piece. I've done everything. I've thrown, like, my sword at them just to try and trade. I've tried, played rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I've beaten them multiple times, but still, they just won't give it to me. What the heck is this guy? He's just hiding underground. What the heck is this nonsense? I knew there was one left. All right, please, bro. I just need the last piece. If that's really all I have to do is just kill you. Wait, did I do it? I think I might have this piece, but I really am not sure. All right, come on. Please, 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 please. Now, you gotta be joking. Two hours later. If this dude doesn't drop a flippin' talisman, I'm probably gonna start crying. All right, please. This kind of looks like, wait a second, boys, I think. Oh, yes, we did it, finally. All right, so now there should be some, like, really cool uh, cinematic ritual here. Let's just, yeah, let's sit back and watch. Here we go, hands off. Wow, that is pretty dang cool. I like that a lot. All right, cool, can I take that? Bam, okay, can I, all right. That's actually a pretty cool screenshot, not gonna lie. All right, took the screenshot, but now we should grab it out of there, and then I think from there... We, uh, we got a new achievement called Give Me That. But yes, from there, we basically just use this on some sort of sapling. Oh, boys, we actually did it. So this is the portal into the void dimension, a.k.a., you know, the between lands. All right, so I got my cowboy hat on, got full diamond armor, got a lot of pork chops. So, I mean, we should be good to go. Let's head in. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay, so it's twists and everything. All right, boys, there's no turning back now. We're getting transported in between dimensions okay we're in the wilderness now what the raw mu uh the what is this my food turned into poop all right at least i kept my diamond armor my explorer's hat got destroyed a little bit but uh like okay what do i do i guess that's all rotten food i should probably save the talisman just in case and it looks like okay we still have our diamond sword still have our shield which i kind of sort of cheated in what the okay I'm getting a little bit scared here. Oh, you can actually see a little bit. So in between lands, it's like a rift in between the different, like, you know, overworld and the nether. So if you look up, you could still technically see the sky. Which is super weird, bro. Okay, that thing does not look friendly. All right, so, um, yeah, my first order of business is to, first off, not jump in the water with piranhas and giant lurkers. Because, oh, what the... Okay, I think they're fighting each other. All right, while they're busy, let's get the heck out of here. All right, don't want to accidentally jump in the... What is this? Hi! What the... What the heck? Do I do two attack damage? And my thing is so slow. Bro, okay, I don't think diamonds do a lot here. I do not think diamonds do a lot. What if I hit him with my shield? How much does this do? One damage? All right, what if I charge this thing up? Let go. This the... That's... Oh, I stepped it in the poop water. All right, get the heck out of here. What dimension am I even in? So I've fought in most of the mobs here before, but I've never actually been in this dimension or tried to survive. Okay, it also looks like there's a weird bar above my food, but I don't want to touch this thing. Left hand. Dude, you're not supposed to be able to jump out of the flipping water, bro. What? No. Bad piranha. You don't actually know how to be a real piranha. All right, getting the heck out of here. Okay, where do I want to go? Looks like there's stuff right there. Still have the giant rift in the sky, which, I mean, honestly, another cool screenshot. But anyway, looks like, okay, that dude is on top of water as well. All right, I think my first order of business should be knocking down trees, right? I mean, that's the first thing you do. I haven't played Minecraft in a wa ball of sap? What the? What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so I can make food out of this when I get sludge jello. And I can also make some tonic, which I don't really want. I have two swap hogs on me. So, I guess I'll just keep moving around. Can I break? Okay, this does nothing. What about... Okay, this is like see-through stuff. 
I get some mushrooms. Oh, I can actually- wait, I can eat these things! Let me eat it! Alright, there we go. We actually have somewhat of food here. Alright, yes. Oh, I think I wasn't supposed to eat that, boys. Okay, yep, I think I have some sort of disease. Oh, and we just- okay, hey, Mr. Swamp Man, how you doing? Alright, let's just- alright, I'm in the swamp water. Boys, this does not look good for me. Alright, please. Okay, is he still chasing me? He's still chasing me. It looks like the giant crocodile things are not on me. Oh my gosh, this is the weirdest place in the world. Okay, looks like we actually have something that's good. We have a tiny little gecko. I think I'm stepping in mud right now, which is not the best thing in the world. Now, honestly, I haven't done a ton of research on this. Also, guys, if you do want to see some sort of survival series in this dimension, because I know there's a ton more in here, there's also a ton of boss fights and a bunch of other mobs, please leave a like on today's video. This gets like a crazy amount of likes, like let's say like 1,500. I'll definitely come back, maybe with my buddy the Cyrude, and we'll try and survive in this place. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to actually, like I need some sort of wood, and apparently this is an actual wood. All right, still not sure if I can eat these mushrooms, but it's like, honestly, my only supply. Oh, and they also give me night vision. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Um, okay, hi. Hi, buddy, you blend in very well. How you doing? Oh, my, oh, hi, yep, my name's Jack. Nice to meet you, I'm just, I'm just a friendly, you know, neighborhood zombie, not doing anything. Just gonna get the heck away from you. All right, maybe this is actual wood that I can use. So let's test this out. Okay, yes, we actually have weed wood. That's the only thing that I know about this mod, is that weed wood is probably, I want to say, better than diamonds in this dimension. Because it seems like my diamond sword does not do a lot. Alright, so let's see. If I put this in here, I get weed wood planks. What about this? Okay, more weed wood planks. Awesome. And then I shall be able to make a crafting table? So let's see. It's been a while. Alright, there we go. We have ourselves our own crafting table. Now from here, can I make just like, okay, cool, we can actually get sticks in here. Let's see, can I make a weed wood axe? Yes, boys, we actually have something good. All right, I guess we might as well go uh, a little bit extra. Let's get ourselves a sword. Four attack damage, let's go. This thing is pure crap, stinking diamonds. Right, let's make sure we bring this bad boy with us. All right, boom, it's really not super good, but it'll probably hopefully get the job done. So let's get a couple, at least a few pieces of weed wood. Maybe set up a small house in here, and then we can, you know, move on and see what else we can find. All right, so I hollowed out the tree a little bit, got some myself some, uh, some weed wood, except I just sort of realized there's nothing that lights up. So as soon as I get inside of here, I cannot see a dang thing. So I think I'm just going to keep moving on. Now that I have uh, some basic tools and stuff, I should probably, I guess, start looking for food. Like, I don't know which dimension, I mean, which biome is, like, the best to travel around in. Like, right now I'm in Patchy Island, so I don't know if that's good, or if that's bad, or if something's chasing me. Alright, so I've been exploring for a little bit more, and I think my next thing should be trying to take down one of these guys. I don't know if that's, like, the play at all. Also, I just keep getting nauseated. But let's go for it. Here we go. Bam! What's up, that? Okay, three damage, three damage. This guy does a lot to me. Alright, man. Stay back. Stay back. Don't touch me. Oh my gosh. The void is super scary. Oh no, okay, as soon as I poke, okay, they're all after me, bro. All right, stop it, just, just stay still, man. Just take that to the face. All right, looks like we have some lurker, I don't even know what the heck he dropped. Maybe some leather? Okay, stop trying to punch me. Seriously, dude, stop it. All right, let's try and use the holy thing that actually sort of works, this bad boy, there we go. Okay, that thing is super effective, sort of, kind of. Oh, we should probably, okay, die, man. We're able to take him down. Now we have lurker skin. Okay, we can make a shield, a pouch, and we could also make armor. I was kind of hoping that I could eat that, but nope, they didn't drop any meat whatsoever. So I guess I have to keep exploring. I don't really know where else to go. Wait a second, okay, there's a light over there. Maybe this lurker won't puck. Okay, don't bite me, man. But I see a small light. It could just be an angler, honestly, but uh, I gotta go check it out. All right, boys, did a couple more minutes of exploring, and uh, I found these cool-looking mushroom things, which I think are good. I'm really not entirely sure. I also picked up some more sap, but I think I could eat these things. Let's see. Come on. Oh, that mouth guy gave me hunger for 30 seconds. I have no idea what I'm doing, and we have... Okay, we have... Oh, oh my gosh, we have an angler fighting a lurker. Oh, my gosh, this is, uh, is kind of weird. All right, now, I also figured out that that thing above my hunger is called decay. Because, you know, in the void, when you drop down in there, you start dying. So it's kind of the same here. So I have to eat this so that I don't decay and start, you know, wearing away and dying. Oh, 
Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, we got a swamp hog. Okay, we have a giant toad and a swamp hog. Alright, not feeling this. Get away from me, man. Alright, you stay back down, or we're just gonna charge this bad boy up. Three, two, one, BAM! Get that guy out of here, bro! Okay, good. We're slowly taking him down. Okay, I kinda got caught in a little bit of mud. Alright, man, get the heck out of here. What the heck? Alright, we have some slimy bones, which you can use to make another swamp talisman. We can make up some blocks. Oh, we can actually get a better sword as well. Okay, that's actually not bad. Now, I don't know about this toad, but I will call him Harley, because he's a Harlequin co toad. So let's see. Hi, buddy. I done. All right, we're going to make this our house, and we're going to end off this first episode here. All right, buddy, here. You just move your fat butt. Okay, there we go, boys. We're just going to make this a small little home for now to end off the episode. And maybe uh, next time, if you guys do want to see it, we can go mining and stuff. But guys, I think we're going to call it a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is what it's like, you know, being actually, you know, in the void dimension. If you do want to see more, leave a like. But anyway, dudes, that's pretty much it. My name is Beckbro Jack. I'm going to figure out how to actually survive here. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out, dudes.